Alrighty guys, so we're heading into a pretty big week this week for Palantir stock and for the entire stock market. And by the way, on Friday, we had a very green day for the indexes and for Palantir stock as Palantir went up over 2% on Friday and we had the Russell up half a percent. The Nasdaq went up, let's see, 1.3%. The Dow went up about 0.8 as the S&P went up over 1%. And by the way, the VIX went down about 2%. And I think the metals uh, were up a little bit on Friday. And by the way, the metals are ripping. Gold's at all time highs. Silver's pushing, uh, you know, the $30 an ounce level, which is huge. So we have a lot to cover in this video, guys, from the indexes to Palantir, maybe some other stocks. So hit the like button, make sure to subscribe, and you might as well get your seven fractional shares of the MAG7 stocks for Moomoo by using that link down below, checking out the QR code right here, or by going to stocksurfest.com slash Moomoo. Once you guys open up your account and deposit at least 100 bucks, that's when you get those seven fractional shares of the mag seven stocks so get your free stocks guys and of course that helps out the channel all those links do and with that being said cheers let's dive right into the video so like i said we had a very strong friday in the entire stock market and for palantir stock which opened up on friday in the mid 22s actually low mid um 22s and we got all the way to the mid 23s by the middle of the day on friday you guys can see we actually um had a pretty big run in the morning about four or five percent run from you know open to about um, 11 a.m. on the East Coast, and we ended up pulling down a bit to about 22.80. Then we rallied again, tested that 23.30 mark at about 12.30 p.m. on the East Coast. Then we failed and we drifted off for the rest of the day, uh, which isn't the best sign. But the fact that, again, we had a 2% green day, that's great. Um, and the fact that we held 22.80 for the rest of the day, that overshadows the fact that, again, uh, we sold off a bit, you know, heading into close. Uh, so look, you guys can see that 2280 level that held on the first major pullback on Friday for Palantir and all throughout the rest of the day. And by the way, guys, in the pre-market 2275, 2280, that was resistance. So the fact that we held that all day as support, that's huge. So heading into this upcoming week, we have to watch that 2280 level on Palantir, do we hold it? Do we fall through it? Start going to the mid low 22s again, like we were at, you know, Friday morning. These are things that I'm watching out for. And on this five day, five minute, as of now, we are above the 50. Actually, no, not the 50, but the 180 SMA. And it looks like we are holding higher lows on this five day, which is pretty good news there for the Bulls heading into this week. And on the 10 day chart, we're right at the moving averages. Actually, we're pushing slightly above both moving averages on this 10-day, 30-minute, but by no means are we fully breaking out yet. I mean, guys, we have a wedge. You guys see this here on this 10-day, 30-minute, so keep your eyes on that. What direction do we pick on this time frame? Do we start taking out, let's say, for example, um, the wedge here, we start pushing 2330, which was the high from Friday. Maybe we push through there, start go, you know, start going 2410. That was the high from it looks like um, Thursday, right? Yeah, Thursday morning. If we start getting above these points, that would be um, a breakout spot in my eyes for this stock. So keep your eyes on that on the 20 day chart. Pretty much the same thing. You guys can see. Um, the wedge were actually sandwiched between the moving averages on this time frame. So if Palantir could end up, uh, you know, getting out of, let's say, 2375, I'd say that's the big spot. Let me set my alert there right now. That could be where, um, you know, we start taking off. So Mark is at or above 2375. That's where I'm putting my alert for now. And uh, you guys could do that as well if you want. And, of course, we've covered this time and time again here on the four-hour chart. The key levels are 20 bucks, $20.20. That was the high from August. Uh, of course, we have the high from November as well, which was 21.75. which, by the way, that held last week. We held that, I think, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever day. Um, that was, but yeah, we're holding above those points, which is good. 
The longer term charts obviously still look really bullish. So let's see if buyers start stepping in in this window. I suspect they will. Is it guaranteed? Of course not. Nothing's guaranteed in the stock market, but I'm looking at 18 to 22 guys. This wide $4 window right here as a spot where buyers might start coming in. Call me crazy, but that's kind of what I'm thinking um, right now here on PLTR in this window um, right here. So what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments, and let's quickly break down some other stocks. And by the way, where are you guys watching this video from? Country, city, state, whatever. Where are you guys watching? Let me know in the comments down below. I love you know hearing where you guys are are um, tuning in from. So actually, before we talk about a stock or two here, let me show you these indexes very quickly. So SPY, all of these had nice rebound days on Friday, but we're not fully um, breaking out yet. You guys can see we have a wedge actually clear as day um, here on SPY. We have higher lows being made, but distinct lower highs throughout all of last week. So keep your eyes on how this plays out. Do we start pushing 520? 525 again, or really 523, that'd be a breakout spot to the upside on SPY. Does Triple Q start pushing uh, this spot here, which clearly uh, we have resistance at 445 to 448. Nobody's denying that, right? So do we start getting buying towards the mid-high 440s? Do we start getting out of there? Or do we get a sell-off maybe under uh, 433, 430, maybe it starts slipping from there. So that's a quick look here on Triple Q. Obviously, the bulls are still in charge on all of these indexes. And for the Russell heading into this week, guys, um, let's see if we could retake that 21, 2135 level. These are huge for the Russell to continue its overall um, breakout. And into this week, guys, I'm watching Celsius, which we covered recently. You guys remember when it was at about $80. Now it's at 84. So it's starting to bounce. If we take out this 50 SMA guys on Celsius, I'm telling you guys at about $85 per share. Let me set my alert. I think this is going to fly. Trade at your own risk, though. Please trade at your own risk. But this is one of those hype stocks, if you will, that I'm not necessarily looking to invest in per se, but as a trade, a momentum play, um, this is definitely one worth watching as it is starting to see some volume uh, coming in and we're starting to bounce. Keep your eyes on Celsius, C-E-L-H. And I think DraftKings is also looking pretty good. Volume's kicking up a bit as of the last couple of trading days. Uh, you know, we're pushing past the highs from early March and to February. We're above the moving averages here on the four-hour chart. So DKNG might be making a shot towards 50-plus, guys. We'll see how that plays out. But overall, those are a couple that I'm looking at. Palantir. The indexes, quick breakdown there. And I don't want to make this video too long, guys, so we might as well wrap it up. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe. We're trying to get the 50,000 subs this year. And don't forget to get your seven fractional shares for a Moomoo -moo of the Mag7 stocks by using that link down below or by going to stocksurfest.com slash Moomoo or by checking out the QR code right here. Open up your account and fund it with at least 100 bucks. You get those Mag7 fractional shares or if you guys want a 1.5% cash reward match, you can also do that. Let's say you bring over an account to Moomoo for the first time using that link down below. You get 1.5% up to a $20,000 balance transfer onto Moomoo, guys, which is huge. That's, I think, 300 bucks for free if you transfer an account up to 20,000 bucks. But of course, you can do an account for 5,000 or 1,000, whatever it is, and you get that bonus, right? So check out all the links down below, guys. I appreciate you all. As always, I'll see you later.